what does the government budget deficit coming back mean for the banking sector? And it's, it's a related question, and it's ability to provide resources for the real sector. I'm going to ask a similar question about crowding out. Is there is a crowding out of resources for the real sector, and what can be done that we're okay. actually wrapping up to the, some of the questions raised by the National Bank that uh, it is difficult to instill liquidity in the market uh, for multiple reasons. Okay, before we get to this question, by the way, very good question. Um, uh, I would like to comment a little bit on the uh, on budget deficit. Essentially, essentially, budget deficit for Ukraine can be just anything if you know uh, where to spend it effectively and uh, if you know how to finance it and you know how to secure uh, the yield on the budget investment, which is more than the yield you have to pay to investors in the Ukrainian government debt. So, and uh, I was not surprised to see that, that, that um, most of us see very low budget deficit as acceptable. And this is partly, this is partly because, because we do not fully understand why uh, uh, the deficit should be bigger and how it's going to be spent and how effective these uh, uh, investments would be. Um, on, this, on the side on, of um, FDI, uh, I do have a strong impression that Ukraine still uh, does not realize that it needs FDI. Yeah. Um, historically, historically, we had absolutely no sizable FDI. Everything was more or less is a recurrent corruption, corruption flows coming from Cyprus. So very few, very few uh, international companies actually invested in Ukraine. And those companies uh, which actually invested in Ukraine, they faced huge problems. Uh, just this week, we had we had an event in Ukrasa Bank, uh, inviting essentially 80 to 90 percent of all FDI investors in Ukraine, company, multinational companies in, investing in Ukrainian economy, and the amount of problems, the number of problems they face is huge. So they lost a lot of money in Ukrainian in Ukrainian banking sector. They lost assets in Crimea, in the Donbas area. So this is this is a very complicated complicated story. They are not, of course, happy uh, happy with uh, with the legislation, uh, in particular the capital and currency controls. So uh, it would be foolish to 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 uh, to expect to expect FDIs uh, to be to be unfolding uh, rapidly, in particular, provided the very slow uh, or uh, well, there is some progress in structural reforms, but obviously insufficient to deliver, uh, to deliver on growth of the next uh, year or two years, maybe on more uh, long-term horizon, be more, more effective. So what Ukraine, what Ukraine could do, so just uh, as, as uh, my colleague mentioned, so you have to do, you, you have to implement the red carpet approach to foreign direct investors. You have to be more active. You have to be more information, in, informationally active. You have to uh, to communicate with uh, with uh, government bodies. You have to do the showcases of privatization and advertise it globally. And finally, and finally, what you have to do, you have to unlock the land the land market because essentially, when you look when you look on the structure of Ukrainian economy, it's changed dramatically. So we now we now have two industries driving Ukrainian economy. It's agriculture and its services. And services, by the way, is developing in, 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 in a fantastic, fantastic manner. Uh, returning to your question on, uh, on uh, um, crowding out. Uh, there, is no, there is no crowding out effect currently in the local, in the local market, simply, simply because, because banks, banks cannot, cannot find, cannot find uh, good customers to lend money and uh, this is this is one of the reasons um, uh, uh, Valeria Gontareva mentioned in her speech. So uh, local local businesses uh, they are quite leveraged. So they already took quite a lot of loans, and it would be silly to 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 increase that amount. 
essentially overall the banking sector, what the banking sector does currently, we stockpile our liquidity into certificates of deposits of the national bank. So, that, so there could be no, absolutely no crowding out effect coming from um, Ministry of Finance being more active on domestic, on domestic market. I would say it would be um, a year or two before this crowding out effect risk could appear in our situation because the ratings of government that is still, is still like, uh, are still quite low and uh, it's going to be uh, some time before the remaining banks and very few, very few banks are left in the market and th those banks are today much more prudent than they were in the past. So government has to prove they are trustworthy so the banks can invest in the, in the uh, government debt instead of, of national bank, which provided very good uh, reform track record. So it was fantastic, fantastic achievement, in particular in monetary, in monetary policy. So government has to, to repeat that and then, and then government can, uh, can hope to attract uh, financial resources and then uh, this crowding out effect can potentially appear. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, I would like to quickly uh, look back to the question of FTIs. Some of the um, quite prominent reformers in Ukraine who are applauded by the outsiders and um, insiders, <coughs> excuse me, alike, might say the following to your argument about the importance of the FDI for Ukrainian economy. They'll say no one is going to come here because people have had a bad experience of being abused in multiple ways over the course of the 25 years. Or maybe not taking such a drastic perspective, but we can say these people will wait to see if those who accumulated wealth locally and moved it out of the country are confident enough to start bringing that wealth back. So let us wait first to see that not the large oligarchy groups, but smaller, still sufficiently rich people will start investing in their own country, and that would become a signal to us that it is safe to invest. What would be your answer to that argument? Look, uh, the first part, uh, the first part is uh, foreign direct investment is going to come to this country anyway. So the only in particular in this uh, period of very fantastic uh, low yields globally. So I don't see a scenario in which foreign direct investment will not come in this very competitive uh, country in terms of uh, wages, in terms of natural resources. So uh, they will come, they will come, but they, they could come as a result of Ukrainian very famous policy of and this policy is do nothing, so wait until, until the situation uh, improves. Or it can be a result of more active policy, so that would unfold foreign direct investment quicker uh, than in the first, in the, in the first case. Uh, as for the rich people returning back in Ukraine, so, and wealthy individuals putting their money to work in Ukraine, Yes, we observe the very intensive flows of money returning to Ukraine. But local businesses, they still see uh, FX risks and uh, non-transferability risks as too high. So the most popular product is to have your, let us say, $5 million stored in the Swiss bank. Then the Swiss bank would do uh, the letter of credit for you and then you would get a credit locally in a local bank on the safe basis in Hryvnia and then you can finance your business this way. This is the most, absolutely the most popular product for corporate customers these, day, these right. days. Thank you very much, very interesting.